Hi folks, I'm Vincent, today we are going to play Pankapu, the Dream Keeper, a game by Tukan Studio. It is a game which is still on alpha version, it is also searching for funding on Kickstarter, as you may have seen. It is um, an action platformer with pretty amazing art style and very cool music. It is in French, but I will translate the important bits, so we are going to launch it. There is a few levels we can go through, it is uh, the demo which is provided with Kickstarter. Let's just take a look. Okay, so let's just go through this. This is not very important. We're going to play with a character which is going to be able to, to transform in it itself in in three forms. We are going to be able to use only two in the in the demo, and one is going to be able to upgrade a bit I mean, uh, as we are going to progress, but not the other one. I'm going to let the intro so we can enjoy the art style now. Jaharo, are you alright? Oh, well, look, he's. Um, I, I forgot there was a, a voiceover. So, all is good. It's nothing, sweetie. Just a bad dream because of the storm. Come here. When I was your age, my grandmother used to tell me a story that kept nightmares away. This tale takes place in the world of dreams known as Omnia. All the beings of this realm lived peacefully, filling the world with hope. Alas, one gloomy day, a horde of creatures passed through the veil, the plane which separates this world from the world of nightmares. These Hyanagi invaded Omni, spreading their corruption wherever they went. The world of dreams was threatened, and with it, all hope was likely to disappear. Fortunately, Ikatomi, the Hymn of Dreams, decided it was time to take action. With his tremendous power, he gathered all the remaining dream matter in Omnia. And gave birth to a guardian that would be able to push back the Hyanagi invasion. His name was... Han Kapu, the Dream Keeper. And here we are. So we're going to be able to play a bit now. Okay. So is Kitami's uh, the end of, of dream? And uh, I think he's just going to explain me how to play. Uh, he's asking me what I'm doing, uh, what I think I'm doing here. We are in the dream or um, uh, we are in the art of Pepu, the, the forest tree, the root dom, uh, of Omnia, uh, the, the, the world of the dream. And in habitant of the territory of Nightmare, I um, just um, go through the, the, the veil, which was preventing them to uh, invade the, the, the realm. These Yanagis um, are spreading corruption. Uh, and he's not even capable to deal with it. Um, hopefully he's got, he's got more than one trick in his bag and he creates our little character to deal with it. I'll just <laughs> keep it short and uh, he will just teach me how, how to deal with my uh, opponent. He's going to give me the, the power of, of, breva, of bravery. Okay, I've got a, an armor, a sword, and I will be able to defeat enemies on my ways. And he's going to give me a first task as a guardian. One of the inhabitants of the foray, a forest, which is called OIT, seems to have troubles. And I need to, to meet him and help him against the Yanagis, which are just pursuing him. 
Right, let's go. <laughs> so, here we are. This is... Look at, look at these backgrounds. They are just beautiful. And uh, we've got a little guy here. We've got two attacks for now. And we'll get a third one later. We've got the ability to throw our sword. And uh, to use our shield to protect ourselves. And then we've got a simple jump. But we can also switch to our other form here. We've got this little guy with a bow. Which is able to shoot very, very fast. He can use a, a little dodge. Which is going to go backward. You cannot... You cannot decide in which direction you are going to go, but if you just turn around, you can just kind of do it, nonetheless. And we also got a double jump with this guy, so it's going to be handy for platform sequences. Okay, so let's just advance a bit. Alright. So these are our little Yanagis we need to kill. And the bow is basically going to aim a bit by himself. So it would be very handy to deal with enemies, but you cannot really aim lower than what I've done. So we'll be we'll be need to be careful. So these guys are a bit stronger. So you going to use the arm to to arm us, but with the bow it's going to be easy to kill them. So, oh, sorry, I did not try this. But this little guy is going to be kind of a helper, he's going to just give us tricks uh, on how to, to advance through the world. And I was just saying that he didn't need it, my help, he was just handling that perfectly well. And he wants to help me to find my way. He's Chi, he's a magic spider. And he, he knows Omnia, the one I need to... Oh, no, 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 the forest. I don't remember the name of the guy I need to, to meet. No, OET. Okay, I just mix them up. So I need to find... He's asking me if I need to find OET. OET. And his house is in the heart of the, um, the puddle of Majin. I need to, to go through the, the forest to, to, to go there. And he's going to come with me to show me the way. And he's not he's absolutely not afraid to to stay here with Yanagis around. Not at all. He will just stick around to help me. Let go. So these little things are a little point of life. I've got three of these. They are not going to be depleted by just a little contact with enemies. It's going to take a bit more than that. If I remember right. The music is really, really cool. Okay, these things are just things you need to, to collect. I don't know if there is anything you can gain with it. But there is always this kind of little things to, to grab in platformers. And this thing here is going to give us a new ability. I'm going to switch to the guy which is going to, to be concerned. And I just find an animus, which is a perk, kind of. And it's going to give me a new power which is going to be linked to this character with a little armor. So I don't really know how to introduce it yet, but it's it's kind of my not not my shield but my my emblem of bravery. Brev brev anyway, it's going to give me another combo, so let's just go through it. And it will just it will just make me a bit more powerful. So and I've got a third attack as you can see, which is going to allow me to finish my enemies. It's really, really responding well. All the jump are going to be very, very precise, and I'm, I should just be stuck to this guy. I don't think I'm really obligated to kill this guy, but they were there, so let's just make it so. And I'm going to use a bit of my sword, so I can just show you how these combos are working. There is a thing you can do which is very cool. You can just, if you are into a uh, jump with this guy and you need a second jump, you can just jump, change it, and make the, dub the double jump. It's pretty cool to be able to do that. And I could use that one as well. This is very, very dangerous against some kind of enemies. And it can even protect you against stranded opponent. 
right? The dodge is also pretty handy. It's going to give you a lot of range against your enemies. I did not mention it, but I'm playing with the pad. I'm pretty sure you can just play with uh, the keyboard and, and mouse, but I just find it more enjoyable to do so with the pad. Do you have anything around here? Not so much, we need to advance. Strangely, the, the ambience of the game just makes me think about Saga Frontier 2, which was a pretty amazingly beautiful game. All undrawn. Okay, I just grab these. I'm not even sure if I can grab them all into the demo, but we'll see. Oh, here they come. I really like the, the little sprite as well. They are pretty well animated and they really look cool. Maybe one of the only issues I've got with the demo is that we are not hearing so much attacks when the on the footstep and stuff. Just mostly the ledges, whoa. And he's down. It's not really difficult, but as as it is a, an alpha version, everything is pre pretty much alpha uh, is pretty much subject to change. So we are going to discover other area. There are three different areas in the in the demo and we are going to we're in the second one. Which is, you know, a bit more like a cave. You, you can activate these things and they are going to be time limited. So it's going to get a bit darker and then you just activate it again. And I'm going to switch because we are going to meet another kind of opponent I think. Maybe not yet. Maybe a bit later. So let's just go back and escape this place. And lead the mushrooms. Good. It's a bit frightening to just jump into these little hole here. You don't really know if you are going to survive. And this big slime is not going to be helpful. And we did not see it, but when you kill these kind of big slimes, they are going to just split into little ones. Okay, let's just kill them before I advance. I think there are more. Ah, I, see, I see a few numbers. Oh crap, I've been it. Oh, this was a bad move here. Once again, the music is really, really, really good. Let's just try to use this to kill them. Mm, which way? Okay, let's go that way. Oh crap. I need to be careful not to be killed. I don't think there is any penalty for dying, but still I need to be careful. Let's kill the most dangerous one first. And what do you have there? A little bit of life. Nice. And more enemies. Which are trying to kill me. Not that nice. But they will be out of the way very soon. Oh, I almost failed to see these spikes. What do I have here? Do I want to maybe go and lead the mushroom again? Maybe I do. 
Okay, all good. There's two rows, so I don't want to stay around. Let's go, just go down here now. So I cannot kill these guys, I need to get a new perk for my little warrior here. And I, will, I don't think I will get it right away. I want to advance a bit more if I want to be able to do so. Oh, no, not good. I'll just keep going that way. Okay, one more here. Just eight more to go. And I need to shoot this big guy over there. And you see? Two little ones. I cannot shoot the... These guys, I need to be careful. And my best solution here is to just wait for these pipes to go up. Advance. And do it the old way. Let's bail. <laughs> I'm going to fight these guys. Alright. And are we still in the same... Nah, we're, we're switching to something else. The Crystal Forest. Okay, so this is the last area. He's going to teach us how to deal with uh, little red crystals. Ah, come on, I died. So, as you may see, I'm not losing anything here. I just need to be more careful. And all the enemies are respawning, of course. Okay. Do I want to just... I don't really need to go and kill him. I can just advance. Let's see. But these guys are new, and to kill them you need to be far enough and to avoid their attacks, which I did not do. You can also use the shield to protect yourself, as I'm going to do here. Like that. Where do we go now? That way. And here it is, I think. So it's a new Animus. And it's going to allow me to destroy the, the red crystals with my sword. And so we do. You can also... Uh, I'm going to go with this guy, because he will be able to... Oh, I should just go over there. You can also do this on these slimes. And you can also use this attack to get them. Everything which is going to the sword is going to be handy. Uh, okay, I'll just remove that. And as you may have seen, I'm able to dodge these bullets. And if they're advancing toward you, they're not going to go much further. The, the shield is going to be like a wall for them. You see, if I'm just close enough, I can use my my attack like this one to deal with him because it will destroy his bullets. I'm going to just shoot again, like that. Okay, I'll just do it twice. Should be enough. And we're going to switch our crap to this guy and to this guy now. Okay, so how do I do that? I think I'm going to throw my sword whenever the time is going to be good. And oh, I cannot move. Okay, so not possible. Just take a hit. You can use these guys as little platform if you need to. Could be useful. How do I access this one? It's still wondering. Okay, we will wander somewhere else. It's too dangerous here. I should just go there and grab. Oh, there is two hits. I forgot about that. There we go. Let's just climb this area and find what we need to find. Okay, so this one is pretty basic, but it's doing the trick.
Oh crap, that was too late. It's actually punishing you can just advance even though you, you failed a bit. I'm really amazed by the... The way they... They made these characters. They're just pretty cute, but they're also very, very cool as well. Oh, mistake. But life. So all good. And let's just do with them again. And again. Okay, I think this is the way I'm going to deal with it, guys. Just by using this little jack. And guys, this is the end of this demo. We are going to meet some big evil people. I don't know, maybe it's, it's, a, it's a big boss of the game, or maybe it's just a secondary character, I don't know. But maybe we'll discover that another time. So guys, it was Pankapu, the Dreamkeeper. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. And I will put a link towards the Kickstarter in the description. So, until next time, guys. Have fun!